today on General Hospital. This is what happened. So, Molly, I'm not a big fan of Molly. I just don't like her. I don't like her attitude. And I don't like how when she saw Christina talking with their mom, Alexis, she's like, she, she Molly had just entered the room. And when she saw Christina, she was like, I was just leaving as soon as you answered the door. And that is just so, like, so rude and dumb. I didn't want to say that word. I'm sorry. Uh, and Alex is like, no, 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 no. Come back. I'm a mother. I don't want to see two of the best sisters and daughters I've ever known fight like this. Now, you can fight all you want, but you got to get along, all right? Every parent just wants their kids to get along and have the best life they possibly can. Like my mom tells me all the time, live life as a kid as long as you can or else it's gonna be bad as an adult, really. <laughs> Speaking of parent Gregory, and he knows his life is ending soon, so he, I thought he went over to Chase's apartment slash house to tell him about his illness, but Brooklyn came in, she's moving all her stuff. If you watched today's episode, and I think you did, Look at her suitcase. If you saw the suitcase, it was like little. Chase said, is that all you need? You're moving in here. This is not a, like, spend the night day. Brooklyn said, nope, that's all I need. Oh, I can go back to the corner main mansion. See you. Will visit Willow. Uh, visit Leo. Check on my dad, wherever the heck he is. So I can, I can bring some of my stuff when I go there. So Gregory uh, in, assi insisted that he bought food or pizza for Brooklyn and Chase and then just have like a small party. So they did, Brooklyn got the pizza, I think it was delivery because they didn't go anywhere to get it. And so they had fun and like I said, before we started this whole conversation about Gregory, Gregory is, his, he knows his life is about to end so he needs to spend every second and uh, microsecond with his son, the more, he can, the more time he has with his son, well, the, the more son is happy, you know. I mean, Chase has always been that kind of guy where you can see his feelings. Just looking at his face, you can see what he's feeling inside his mind. But, like, they don't want to share it. That's the kind of guy Chase is. So Gregory doesn't have the kind of heart to, sell, to, to tell his son that he has uh, ALS. ALS. Yeah. So what, is that? what else happened today? So when Molly uh, finally left from talking to Christina... I'm really on Christina's side with Molly, with sister versus sister. So when Molly got home, she saw her pet. I forgot her name, but it's like a pet horse, a stuffy animal on the couch. And she started hugging it and remembering the argument she had with Christina back at their mom's slash Alexis's invader apartment. That is kind of dumb. She's a grown woman. She doesn't need to be hugging a stuffed animal from my perspective, in my opinion. Uh, Carly, you gotta watch it. Just, uh, I know Carly and Anna have, have had many battles, but I think Carly won this one. I just feel like I'm on her side for this one. Because Carly's doing stuff, and Nia is just begging Carly to tell her, What is going on? I know I'm new to marrying Sonny, but he can't just go to jail like this. Have you got an update from Diane? Carly's like, Whoa, chill out. And Nina's like, well, didn't you protect the organization? Like, we, me, you, and the whole, and all the Corinthos family, Sonny's family, is a target. Remember when you married Jason and prote protected uh, the family? And Carly said, that time we thought Sonny was dead, that time you knew Sonny was alive, but you didn't tell us that he had amnesia and everything, you kept a secret from us, that time... Come on, Carly, please stop mentioning it. And Michael even hasn't gone over that yet, but we didn't see him today. So, Gladys was also in like this, not, I, didn't want, I don't want to say abandoned area, but some sort of long ways where no people are, just a wall and just other places, private place. And uh, Gladys met up with Dr. Montague. Gladys is like, come on, I gave you the 50 grand. Now we got to send Sasha out of front cliff and back home where she is safe from being drugged by you. Dr. Montague said, we're working on it, but right, not right now. Gladys said, I feel like everybody gets just, just gets tricked. Like when they, like when somebody blackmails somebody and I do 
and everybody does what the blackmail says, and then they're like, we have a problem that always happens, please, all right? And then Nina calls Gladys. She's like, hey, I'm freaking out right now. Sonny's in jail, and I do not have an update on Sasha from Frontcliffe. I've been trying to call them all day, and they won't give me any information. They said the doctor is handling it. Gladys, what is the doctor's name? Uh, some sort of like James or something. Tell me the doctor who is drugging Sasha's name. And I need you here right now. Give me all the information I need about Sasha. So Gladys came and Nina, when she did came, Nina was on the phone with uh, Frontcliffe again. And they, Nina said, you know what? I'm going to threaten you real quick. If you don't give me any information about Sasha Gilmore, I'll show up there with the police. And so Gladys took Nina's phone and hung up. And Carly saw this whole argument, and Nina was just getting on to Gladys. I thought Carly, we were going to see Carly kick Nina out of Kelly's for a, for a long time. But she just watched with her mouth open. She's like, I know, it's kind of weird when your mouth's always open like that. So Cody, yes, this is uh, one of the big things that happened today. He got into Sasha's room and wants to help. For a second, Sasha was freaking out, and I thought she saw Cody as Cyrus. And I was like, oh, please not this again, Dr. Montague. Except she recognized Cody, and she didn't see Cyrus in Cody or in her eyesight. She said, are, are you really real? And Cody told Sasha to touch his hand and see if he was a real person, if you could feel the touch of Cody. And then he was like, do you want to get the heck out of here? Sasha's like, where are we going? And Cody said, well, we can get the heck out of Frontcliffe and go wherever we want. What are these clothes called? Pajamas. <laughs> so they tried to leave, and here comes Dr. Montague. We saw him arrive at Frontcliffe earlier, and then he ran into Cody and Sasha trying to leave. And so tomorrow's a Friday's episode. It's all going down. So what else happened? I think it was just like Christina and Alexis, and then that Chase, Brooklyn, and Gregory scene. Thing. Let me give you one more the same piece of, piece of advice that I told you earlier. All parents what to do in life is make their kids happy and have and make them have the best life they possibly can as a kid, adult, and a gramps. So they, they want you to have the best life they possibly can, so treat them really good, you know. They give you a lot of presents for Christmas especially. So, I'm going to do my wrestling show and tell. Let me know down in the comment section below if I forgot anything else important. Uh, Roman Reigns, the winner of the 2015 Royal Rumble. Current Universal Champion. Former Intercontinental United States Tag Team. WWE World Heavyweight Champion. I don't think he's quite a Grand Slam Champion, but he's won a lot of champions. Intercontinental United States. Big career. And your tribal chief, really. Boo. Boo. Yeah, Fastlane's coming up in a month from today, so we'll see if we'll have a match there. Sting, he doesn't really have a big career in WWE. He wrestled mostly in like 1990 through 1992. Had a big career in WCW, a former WCW uh, World Heavyweight Champion. Had some awesome battles with like... Probably like Ric Flair and one member of the Wolf Pack with Kevin Nash, Conan, and like Lex Luger. And then his last appearance was in 2015, had a small career there. And one of his last matches was with Triple H at WrestleMania 31. Thanks for watching my video. Also, send a like, and I'm hoping you enjoyed today's ride.